Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to explain a few simple steps to help you get started with Kizio Forms. Through this video, you will learn how to create your forms on the online platform, how to fill them out from the mobile application, as well as retrieve your data on the online platform and view them in the form of standard PDF reports. So let's get started. To create your form, log on to the Kizio Forms online platform Enter your company code, click on continue, enter your username and password and click on sign in. Once you've signed in, you'll be able to see a dashboard with the number of forms created, the latest data entries, the number of data entries, etc. To create a form, click on forms, create a form. You can either create a form from scratch or choose a template form from our forms library. Let's have a look at how to create a form from scratch. Drag and drop various fields into the blue box to create a form. For example, I drag the input field into the blue box. Click on the small pencil icon next to the field to set up the various parameters. For example, for the input field, you can provide a name and choose the type of input you prefer, for example, text, integer, decimal, etc. Click on confirm once the parameters have been set up. You can add as many elements as you like in the blue box in order to create a form. You can change parameters and rename each element to create a tailor-made form. Once you've finished this process, provide a name to your form and click on save in order to save your form. Once your form is saved, you can view it under the My Forms section. You can also add custom reports in various formats and modify various parameters and create email scenarios once you save your form. We also provide an option to choose a template from our forms library. To do so, click on library and choose a desired template. You can also use the search bar to search for the desired form template, for example, timesheet. You can view a small description of the form, click on it to view the template. Click on add to my account to add the template to your forms. This form is then added to your account. You can modify and change the parameters to suit your needs. You can also add additional fields to personalize this template. Once you finish modifying this template, click on save and you can view the forms under the my form section. You can also create custom reports and set up email scenarios through the forms downloaded from the library. To fill out your form, download Kizio Forms from the Play Store for Android devices and from the App Store for iOS devices. Enter your company code and click on Next. Fill in your login information and password and tap on Sign In. Look for the form that you created on the online platform and tap on the form to open the form. Fill out the form fields. To save or submit your form, tap on the airplane icon at the bottom right corner of your screen. To view the send form, tap on the main menu and click on send. 
To view the data entered, go to the online platform, click on Data and History, fill out the name of your form and choose the dates for which you would like to view the data. Click on Action and Preview to get a preview of the form. And click on Standard PDF to view the Standard PDF report. You can also modify and copy your form from the online platform. With the free trial of Kizio Forms, you can add up to 10 users on your account. To do so, click on My Users. You can create a user and assign the user as an administrator, group leader, user or undefined. Allow users to access the forms by clicking on the right button. Select the users and click on the green arrow button to provide access to the selected users. You can view the summary of the rights by clicking on the summary tab. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, do not hesitate to consult the tutorial section on our website or contact our international support team. Like, subscribe and share for more videos like this.